And we're, we have a dog here, a male dog, that was presented today for a neuter. And the owner opted to go ahead and do a non-surgical neutering technique. Today we're going to be using Zuterin for that. And we're actually, this is part of our campaign with Animal Balance to use non-surgical with surgical to offer more options for people who might be uh, avoiding castration. So we've, we've examined him. He actually has two testicles present. Um, he was just given him a little bit of sedation so that he's actually can lay in dorsal recumbency so we can actually go through the whole procedure. The first thing that we're going to do is measure his testicles. And we have a special caliper for that that actually calculates the dose based on the width of his testicles. So not the length, but the width. And we get a very accurate measurement coming across here. And his dose is going to be for the right testicle is 0.8 cc's for a 24 millimeter testicle. We're gonna go do a little Michael Jackson maneuver where you just gently break dance underneath that and pop the other one out of the way. And come in and do the same thing here. And this one is also 0.8 cc's for the left testicle. So the nice thing about this procedure is we can do neutering of dogs or non-surgical sterilization without a lot of preparation. We don't need to clip them. We don't have to have sterile instruments. We can use a, a dilution of chlorhexidine, a one to two, 10 dilution, gently clean the area of the injection site. And we're gonna just gently wash that off with a single wash. We want to make sure that when we do these procedures that the dogs do not have a lot of physical skin infection or flea bite dermatitis or um, all their ulcers going on at the injection site. So he's, that's going to allow that to dry and then we'll come along and we'll draw off the Zuterin. Now we're going to use a specific 1cc syringe with the lure lock and the reason we like to use the lure lock syringes is that when we draw this up, we want to change needles. And we want to make sure that the needle doesn't slip off after we're done. So we're using a 1cc syringe here. And so I'm going to just go ahead and just turn that off. And the other part of the procedure is we need to use very tiny gauge needles. And so I'm using a 30 gauge by one half inch needle. I'm going to set that up over here on the right side because I measured that one first. And we're going to come along and do the same thing to the left. Now in this particular case, this dog measured out equally, so each side is the same. But we do want to make sure that we pay attention to the dose based on the size of the testicles. And we'll go ahead and do that. So again, 0.8 cc's. And switching out to my brand new needle. And I'm ready to go. So I've got my right testicles dose, my left testicles dose. And we're ready to commence injection. So I want to, when I do this procedure, I want to make sure that I hold this like a dart. And then I gently bring the testicle up into the scrotum. And there's a specific anatomical landmark that I'm looking for. So I never want to come in randomly from the backside. I want to come in from the cranial aspect and feel for the head of the epididymis. So I'm palpating right there and coming up. And I found my injection site. So I go ahead and just commence the injection procedure and into the center of the testicle. I can gently reach up and push down on the plunger and then inject very slowly. This injection technique should last for about 10 to 12 seconds. And the reason we're going nice and slow is we don't want to have the potential to stimulate the pressure receptors within the testicle. At the very end, I hold it there for three seconds, finger off the plunger, and then simultaneously let go and pull out at the same time. And then we repeat that procedure for the opposite testicle. So again, just bring the left testicle up into the scrotum. I know I don't want to push it prescrotally. I just want to bring it up into the testicle, into the scrotum right here. Again, palpate for the head of the epididymis. Identify that landmark. Come in, inject into the center of the testicle, reaching up. Now the nice thing is the way I'm holding, I can use my left finger to actually stabilize the hub 
And so there's no motion. It's real critical to not have any motion within the testicle with the syringe and the needle. So you notice that that's a very stable injection technique. Again, holding it there for three seconds, finger off a plunger, and simultaneously withdraw and let go at the same time. I want to let go, so I release pressure off the testicle. So now this dog has been zinc neutered or non-surgically sterilized with Zudrin. So the other thing we want to make sure that we do is that we are putting on a marker because we will have dogs that have testicles that are sterilized. So we need to make sure that they can be identified later on. So the marking technique we're using here today is a electric tattoo device. And we're going to put on a very small N or a Z. And I'm going to do that with two parallel lines. And come back with a diagonal. Good. And he's now zinc neuter. Good, so I'm just going to verify that, wipe that all down, make sure I had a good cutaneous Z, which I do. That's good. All right. Now, the other part of this procedure, we want to ensure that we're addressing any discomfort for the dogs, and so we give them. We're going to give this dog a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory as part of the injection procedure and for a few days following so that he, to make sure that he's comfortable. We expect his testicles are going to swell and he's going to have a little bit of a different feeling so we want to make sure that he's comfortable for the next few days while that inflammatory process is working to stop spermatogenesis or stop sperm production.